How to choose a new computer? So many choices and so little patience? That's why we've cut to the chase for you. You will need to know what you want your computer to do and time to shop. Step one, jot down all the things you want to be able to do with your computer. Different programs have different system requirements, so make sure you find out the minimum requirements for the programs you want to run. In general, working with pictures and video requires a better system. Step two, figure out how much you can spend. Step three, decide if you want to use a Mac or a Windows operating system, known as an OS. While the newest computers from Apple can run both, most people use one or the other. The Mac OS is better suited to graphic design, video processing, and other art-related applications, while a Windows OS is good for business use and gaming and is generally cheaper. Step four, decide if you want a laptop or a desktop. The main advantage of a laptop is that it's portable. Desktops are cheaper, plus they have the capacity to be more powerful than laptops. Step five, visit a computer retailer or log on to one online to see what added features you might like and how they will affect the price. Step six, determine how powerful a CPU central processing unit you need. The more powerful the CPU, the faster the computer. Most computers have CPUs powerful enough for basic tasks. The fastest processors will be significantly more expensive, so unless you really need the processing power, don't bother. Step 7. Decide how much RAM or memory you need. Always err on the side of more. You can often save money by getting the minimum amount of memory with your system and buying a memory upgrade that you install yourself. Step 8. Select a video chipset. People who use lots of graphic-intensive applications should spring for the best they can afford. Everyone else can skimp. Step 9. Choose the size of the hard drive. If you mainly just email and browse the internet, you won't need as many gigabytes as someone who does a lot of graphic design. Like with RAM, you can save money by upgrading the hard drive yourself. Step 10. Choose the rest of your peripherals, such as your keyboard and mouse, and consider getting an extra display monitor. Studies show it can increase your productivity by up to 40%. Did you know? Today's personal computers have roughly 20,000 times the processing power of Ianac, the first electronic computer, which weighed more than 30 tons and filled a room the size of a tennis court. <laughs>